Delhi blast caught on camera. India today has access to first images of the blast that took place early on Sunday morning. Huge amount of explosives used in the blast. Sources telling India today that the blast was only to send out a message. Sources also saying that no electronic triggering device has been found till now. Going across to Shreya Chatterjee, my colleague, for more on this. Uh, Shreya, as far as the amount of explosives is concerned, is there a ballpark that you've been able to get to know from the sources in terms of how many kgs of explosive are, uh, are the investigative uh, agencies sort of anticipating here? Well, you know, Harshit, uh, it's, it's still early for the agency to determine the amount uh, in exact rate, but the reason that they say that this is uh, a, a blast that operates with uh, I mean, a huge amount of explosives because of the CCTV footage itself, which directs the amount of gas um, that is released from the explosion. It shows the CCTV camera of the nearby area. It sends soft chocolates to at least two kilometers. So imagine the amount of explosive, be it a liquid, uh, solid, or a mixture of both, which was used in this particular case. It was in a sizable amount. Because it released a lot of gas in a high velocity, which did send a shockwave. That is the reason initial investigation was directing at the point that this explosive was, uh, I mean, there was, uh, uh, I mean, a sizable amount of explosives used to make this particular uh, uh, blast. But the, with the CCTV now out, it is very challenging at the hand of the Delhi police to also arrest those behind this. Because uh, the day has passed, uh, we do understand that this is a very serious manner. But at least the ones who are behind the, uh, the entire incident is still on spot three. Also, Shreya, since you happen to be there at the spot right now, earlier I remember you showing us visuals of uh, the various teams being at the spot. There were sniffer dogs as well we saw. Could you tell us in terms of uh, what's uh, what's the kind of activity happening over there? Possible for you to show us around or just tell us what, what visuals you see in front of you right now? Well, you know, right now the NLT team has left the ground. Uh, there are many police officers present because the area will remain cordoned off till they get a final verdict of all the exhibits being picked up for forensic examination or not. Uh, we are being told that multiple exhibits have already been collected and sent for forensic examination in the episode. The NLG will also send a separate report on the assessment that they have made on the ground. The NIA team was also there. They have also collected uh, similar idea of what will transpired. Now all these multiple agencies will also be sending the different reports. But now the FI is with the Delhi police's Rohini district, but it will in all likelihood be transferred to the special cell because they will be investigating into any possible terror angle, if at all, in this particular blast. As of now, the dependency is also on social media to pick up chatter on this particular blast, if at all, that could direct to the suspects uh, who still remain at large behind the subsequent incident. Right. In terms of what the police and the other investigative agencies, now that it, you know, it's become a multi-agency probe now, Shreya, uh, what, what uh, is, is uh, of, of the most importance uh, for them? What is of paramount importance to the agencies over here to figure out where the bomb, uh, you know, uh, uh, how big the bomb was, where the trigger came from, or what the organization is, who the organization is, who the person is, What's the top priority for the investigative agencies, if you could po point out uh, for us? Well, you know, I should first and foremost, uh, the Delhi police will be ironing out the stories, the possibilities, the possible suspects, because they definitely be zeroing in on uh, the possible people who could have been behind the blast. Now, we've been seeing that it's also on the same timeline, where there have been multiple bomb calls being made to airlines on a similar trajectory. Just a few months back, we saw similar bomb calls were made to uh, different schools as well. Now, because this was a CRPF school, the Delhi police will definitely first iron out the story whether there are any corroboratory evidence linking both of those incidents to this or not, whether this is anything to do with a terror angle, whether this is anything to do with, uh, with uh, I mean, uh, criminals who want to send out a message, which is one thing is Kishnia. The idea was not to send out public damage or cause disruption to public life, but it was to send out a message of the possibility and to show that the impact that it could have had. So because of that, the Delhi police is extremely, uh, I mean, they have all their hands on deck investigating the ones behind this. But as of now, they're rounding out possible studies that would link them 
Right, Shreya. Thank you so much for bringing us all those details.